hey guys welcome back to my channel um if you are new here or you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram if you're not following me already um so have you noticed i'm wearing purple eyeshadow i always go for brown but today basically i was gonna do smoky eye and then as I was building the colour, I said, what am I doing this for? I'm not actually going anywhere. You know, it's not every day full makeup. So I just banged on some eyeliner. Didn't even bother putting on eyelashes. And I said, this is the look for today. <laughs> so this, I think it looks alright, you know. So, um, but anyway, let's get into the topic. So, as the title suggests, I'm going to be talking about single motherhood, particularly bitter sick single mums. Now, I know not every single mum is a bitter single mum. I know that not every single mum is in a, um, a difficult arrangement. I know there are a lot of single mums, single parents out there. And they're all amicable, everything's good, they're cordial. I salute you guys. I really, honestly, I wish I was in, in that kind of an arrangement. But circumstances have made that not so. So therefore, I salute you. Well done to you guys. Because, you know, it's, it's better, it's healthier for the, ch for the child. And like I said, I wish that I could have been the same way. But, you know, there's certain things that just cannot be overlooked and so here we are but I just I don't like the whole narrative of the bitter single mum okay and as I said I'm a single mum I've been a single mum since basically pregnancy you know my son's never known what it's like to have a dad in his house or a man around you I've just been single all this while and not been dating or anything so it's always just been me and him and so i think i'm very qualified to say what i'm about to say <laughs> okay um yeah so why i want to talk about this really is that i find a lot of um single mums newly single mums or those who have been single mums for a while there's this bitterness about them and the ones that i've met especially i think they kind of feel like we're all single mums, we're going to be bitter together and we're going to sit here and bash together. And it's like, I'm really not about that life. I don't want to waste my energy sitting down and just slating some guy. I really don't, I don't care. Honestly, I don't, I've reached a point where I just don't care, you know? And I just, I feel like everyone should reach that point you know being a single mom is hard it's not easy to be a single mom you are doing the role of two people you're being mum and dad so the energy that you're using the energy that you're using to be angry and be bitter and to be hating on and casting out this 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 guy <laughs> the energy that you're using is energy that you're taking away from your child or your children the energy and i'll repeat that for you in case you missed it the energy that you're using to be angry and bitter is energy you're taking away from your child or children okay you are all they have you are mum you are dad you are their friend you are the one they play with you're the one that's teaching them okay and if you're like me i know there's some of you out there who have family helping you and that's great but if you're like me you ain't got no help I ain't, there's nobody it's just me and him there's no one helping there's no one who i can go say oh can you have him for a while it's just me and him day in day out work. it's a lot of work so if i was using some of that energy to be constantly sitting down and just be 
angry and thinking about oh why is his dad not doing this his dad this his dad that yada 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 because you know i don't know about other people but for me when i'm angry it takes a lot out of me it takes a lot out of me you know it drains me it really does so i don't want to be using energy on somebody that's not you know they're not in my house you know even though i do have to deal with him sometimes it's not i just i don't feel it's worth it i i i love my child that much that i don't want to take away energy that i could be using on him over nonsense and that's what it is it's nonsense it's nonsense now i'm not saying that oh i've never been angry or i've never that's far from the truth let, let me like give you a little background so um i had two goals yeah before i had kids or a child i don't know why i say kids i only have one but before <laughs> before i had my son I had two main goals. My two main life goals were to get educated, take that box, check, and to basically be married before I have any kids or be in a really um, solid relationship, preferably marriage, but a solid relationship. I wanted that nuclear family because in my family dysfunction is the order of the day and I didn't want that. I wanted to break that cycle and have my own like loving unbroken strong bond family. So obviously it didn't go that way and I was devastated. I was heartbroken. I was crushed i was every negative emotion you can feel i was very i was very upset i was very very upset and um before anyone says it it wasn't a situation of where i tried to trap somebody it was an oops my problem <laughs> being honest it, it was an oops it wasn't planned and you know it was written that that's the way I'm having a child so that's how you know I went through with it and I knew from because because of the condition of the relationship with my son's dad I knew from the moment I found out I was pregnant I knew I was about to be a single mom I knew it you know it wasn't any there was no false hope or anything it was so much so that I didn't even want to I'm being honest here I wasn't even going to tell his dad that I was pregnant because I knew it was in my mind it was like what's the point because I know he's not going to do anything I know he's not going to be there I know he's not going to do the father thing so I didn't see the need in telling him but everyone said Maya just tell him you know tell him <laughs> so I did so it wasn't anything like I thought I was going to trap somebody I I'm not so crazy it wasn't like that it just you know it was god's will and that's how that went down yeah so it, i was upset that you know my life was not going the way that i have i wanted it to it's not what i had pictured but i come to terms with that i still believe that even though me and his dad are not together i still believe that that shouldn't stop his dad from making an effort you know being a dad we don't have to live in the same house and be together for you to be a good dad to your child so um when my son was born it was evident that even that even that wasn't going to happen and i fought it you know i tried i argued i fought i didn't understand why he didn't want to make the effort to bond with the baby and i was very upset you know i would cry and beg like bond with your baby your baby your baby i even went so far as to make sure that i lived close by so that he couldn't use the excuse though you live far away so i can't see the baby i live 10 minutes away i you know i made sure that um it was easy for them to 
be in regular contact it didn't go that way so that made me even more upset and even more angry and eventually after hearing it from other people like everyone just said kept saying cut him off 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 i let months go by i think my son was about eight months old seven eight months old and i i cut him off now when i i, I do it like that because i didn't just go ghost i i basically said look you're letting down our son and you know because at the time it was supposed to be weekly visits and we were lucky if those visits were twice a month so i said you know what enough is enough what you're doing is a rejection of our son and until you fix up you're not seeing him anymore so in my mind i kind of felt like you know you've been told that until you fix up you can't see your child so you're gonna fix up it didn't go that way <laughs> it did i don't know why i'm laughing but it didn't go that way he didn't fix up he stayed away for a good almost a year and so that annoyed me even more in that time i left london i moved to where i am now in the countryside and i didn't tell anyone i was obviously my family knew but like on his side no one knew i was moving i just left and you know it was it was like that so um eventually like he did um get in contact and asked like some time went by got in contact and asked to see my son i was like well we don't live in london anymore so but yeah and so that was that so some time passed i was living here for about six months i had been here about six months and that was in that time my healing had started my growth had started you know i was bettering myself and i i kind of had a thought and it was is you know i know that his dad is immature i just put all of it down to like serious immaturity i know his dad's immature i know his dad hasn't done what he should be doing and all of that but if you really deep it if you really think about it yeah when your son grows up when my son grows up when your children grow up and they want to know why their dad isn't in their life you know they might find their dad again or something like that they will always reconnect in the future i don't want this guy to come and tell my son who I've grinded for by myself, who I've provided for by myself, who I've been mum and dad for by myself, built a bond, everything. I do not want this guy to come and scatter everything that I've done by coming to tell my child that I wasn't in your life because your mum stopped me. I refuse to let that happen and when that thought came to my head I said no 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 I'm not giving him that power I'm not giving him that power I refuse to give anybody the power to come and ruin what I have going on here with my child by coming to utter lies but you know what it won't even be lies that's the thing it won't even really be a lie you know they're not gonna come and say well i was inadequate i was immature i wasn't doing what i should be doing as a dad bloody blah 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 they're not gonna say all of that to the child they're gonna come and say your mum stopped it and then that's it everything you've done scattered everything you've done scattered your child is going to resent you. All the work you've done for the 18 years, I don't know how many years, 15, however old the child will be when they, 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 they post that question to their dad. All your work will become undone. All your, your bond, your bond with your child will just be scattered because of this one person come to utter those words to your child and then your child's gonna look at you different and say it's your fault 
that my dad didn't see me it's you mm, 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 mm. so i said no this cannot be this cannot be i will refuse to allow that to happen so i extended the olive the olive branch i said to his dad you can facetime him i gave him the number for a tablet and i said you can facetime and i've now it's been over a year now i've stood back and i'm just letting everything play out and why i'm letting everything play out what um ladies you need to understand children are very clever children are very clever okay and they can see with their own eyes who's there for them who's not there for them who's doing for them who's not doing for them who who comes to their i don't know my son's not that age yet but who comes to their school plays who doesn't who buys them gifts who doesn't who you know they, they kids are clever kids are so clever and they will see this so what this is what i'm doing right now i've taken a step back i've allowed everything to play out how it's going to play out and you know i do hope that in this time my son is still young i hope in this time that his dad will become better I'm going to be honest and say he's made a smidge of improvement, but it's, it's not enough, you know. But it's not enough, there's still a way to go. So I've just left it. I've left it alone. No one can come and say that I stopped anyone from doing anything, okay. His dad FaceTimes him whenever he wants to FaceTime him and and that's it there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing more you know i'm not i'm not allowing that and you shouldn't allow it either don't give anybody the power to ruin your relationship with your children especially when you've been grinding on your own to provide for your children by yourself don't give anybody that power do not give anybody that power okay now this is only in the instances and this is the thing i allowed this to happen because his dad had asked in the past he had asked the question of seeing the child if you're in a situation where the dad has not made that effort then i'm not gonna i'm not telling you to go and um contact them leave it alone it's just because in my situation, I, even though he had only asked once or twice, he had still asked. And that won't matter to my son in the future that, oh, we only asked once or twice. It's still going to be the fact of he asked and mum didn't allow it. So that is why I decided to do that. If he hasn't asked, don't go out of your way don't go out of your way to do anything wait until if you know if the time comes that he asks then you allow the contact to happen and this is only I'm, I'm only speaking on on behalf of ladies where there isn't other issues like child endangerment and things like that obviously if there's situations where um the man cannot or should not have any contact with the child then stick to that my situation is not like that it's just a bit of immaturity and not stepping up and things like that so this is the kind of things that i'm talking about not anything serious like that keeping you know you should have your plan in place and keep that plan in place um but yeah so um you know like i said kids are not stupid kids will always figure out it might take them a while my son is still young so even now you know he's not gonna he doesn't understand any of these things yet when he's older he might do um but yeah kids they they will see they will see they will see who's doing who's not doing who keeps their word who doesn't keep their word you know they're they're 
they're smart children are smart they're resilient and they, when they're old enough based on the facts that they've gathered for themselves they will make the decision of whether they want to bother with this parent or not don't be the one to cut it off so that someone can come in the future and use that against you because they will you know they will just to save their own skins they will use that against you they're not gonna come and say that oh i wasn't you know nine times out of ten there are some men who you know they grow up and they realize the error of their ways and they come back and say look son or look daughter i wasn't good enough and that's why most times they're not gonna come and do that and they're gonna flip it on you and said it was your mum say it was your mum so don't give don't give them that opportunity don't um don't be bitter um and with that as well there are some parents out there and i think it's so wrong i think it's so so wrong there are some parents out there who um bash their children's father to the child for example um they will be they to the child they'll be like your dad's worthless your dad is this your dad is that that's wrong don't do that don't do that no 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 that is so wrong that is so wrong okay because you know what happens in those situations nine times out of ten when that child grows up if they they go and um cling on to the dad and cut off the mum you shouldn't put your children in that position you shouldn't do that to them that's wrong you're messing with their head you're messing with their development you're trying to make them angry you're trying to it's not good for them it's so not good for them you shouldn't do that to your children it's not your children's fault that you because like a lot not ladies we chose this man we chose this man whether it was an oops pregnancy or not we were the ones who laid and got pregnant okay so we should not be sitting there and slating the father to the child even if the the father is whatless and is x y and z everything you're saying don't do that to the child don't do that in front of the child don't do that to the child it's very wrong it's very 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 wrong you shouldn't do that i don't agree with it i think it's disgusting behavior I don't no matter what you think of that child's father do not just do not that bitterness there is not healthy for you know and i think um i've seen this a lot of women they spend so much time being angry and being bitter that they don't know how to just be happy anymore it's so it's in their bloodstream just to be angry and bitter because they're a single mother and they just hate the world and then they, it spills out onto their children and they start hating their children and they start oh you're so much you're like your dad you're like this you're dead it's just so wrong it's just so wrong it's not like punishing your kids for because it's our mistakes you know it's our well let me say in my situation lapse of judgment and you know what it's our mistake i'm not even i'm gonna be real here okay i'm gonna be real here we know who is a good guy <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not you want funny. Oh, who's at my door? Give me one second, please. Sorry about that, guys. Had a parcel. Okay, so as I was saying, we know, and as much as a lot of people, whew, I'm out of breath, you know. You know what? You know what? Yeah, this quarantine life has made me very unfit i've gained so much weight and i'm just so unhealthy now i need to sort that out i'm here panting 
for that short walk to the door and back. Oh my gosh. Okay, as I was saying, so we know when we're with these guys, we know who is father material and who is not. We know who has waste man tendencies and who does not. I'm sorry to say this, yeah, I'm even talking to myself right now. This is why I said earlier that I knew that I was about to be a single mom because we know, we know when we're with these guys, we know who is going to do the right thing and who isn't the waste manism is present at the beginning oh, i'm sorry it, it, you might want to deny it and be like no i never saw the signs if you didn't see the signs well get your eyes tested but <laughs> we know okay it's not even we shouldn't be lying to ourselves okay just don't lie to yourselves it's just you know i'm not saying there are some men who switch up something happens and they switch up i don't know what happens there but there are some of us who we know it, they're just not going to be in any use we know it and so is our own fault for even entertaining these guys even though we didn't intend to get pregnant you know is you know we have to take the L okay so when you're now later coming to be bitter and take it out on your child that's not fair because you're now punishing that child for your own mistake you're punishing that child for your own mistake so uh, yeah it's just not fair to do that to the children it's not fair and all you're doing is ruining your relationship with your child because they're just going to grow up angry that you've just been taking out stuff on them that's not their fault it's not their fault that their dad is this and their dad is that it's not their fault that um you and their dad didn't you know get along or your relationship broke down it's not fair to do that to the children it's really not fair and i know a lot of mothers who do do that and i just think it's really wrong it's really 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 wrong you should never do that to your child you should never 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 do that to your child it's not fair and it messes with their heads it really does mess with their heads okay so we just need to stop the bitterness ladies i'm glad you know i'm glad that i've been on this growth journey and my bitter phase didn't last long and i grew out of it and you know i'm just letting you know god's will be god's will um we just need to stop it we need to do better for our kids we need to do better for our kids because we're in a position where we're mom and dad to them we are all they have you really need to deep that we are all they have okay hopefully in the future their fathers will fix up and be better parents for them but if you're right now is that your the your child's father is not be doing what he should be doing and is not adequate don't don't be the one to don't be the one to sabotage your own relationship with your child don't be the one to sabotage your own relationship with your child your ch children are smart enough children reach an age where they can see which parent was the problem children reach the age where they can see who is the one who sticks to their word and who is the one who lets them down and although as a mother and i'll say this myself as a mother it's not going to be a nice thing for me to watch my child being let down it's not going to be a nice thing for me to watch when you know for example i'm not saying this has happened or this will happen i don't know the future but for example if your child's dad says oh i'm gonna come pick you up on friday and doesn't show up on friday it's gonna be sad for you to watch that it's going to hurt for you to watch that you want to know that your child is hurting and your child is feeling rejected but after a while 
after a while after it's happened one two three times your child is going to clock your child is going to understand and then your child is going to want to distance themselves from the one that's causing them this upset and your child is going to appreciate you more as the one who's always there for them and as the one who is not letting them down okay let the father mess himself up if he's going to be a mess if he wants to be a mess and be a let down and treat the child badly let him mess him own his own self up don't be don't contribute to it don't give him any power to come and flip anything back on you let him mess him his own self up let him be the let down on his own don't have anything to do with it let it play out how it's going to play out and your child yeah you just have to have faith that your child is not an idiot that you have raised your child to be smart and uh, after a few uh, times after a few burns your child is going to get it and your child is going to make that decision for themselves whether they want to keep giving this person a chance a chance or not okay just let it play out let it play out and you know what your your relationship with your child will be stronger it will be unbreakable because they're going to look at you and be like my mum is the one who never lets me down my mom is the one who goes hard for me my mom is the one who's doing what my dad is not doing Lee just let it play out stop the bitterness stop the bitterness stop the bitterness if you're in a position like I said earlier if you're in a position where you can be cordial and you're just choosing not to be cordial stop it <clears throat> okay stop it because it's better for you and it's better for your child and it's, it's better for everyone involved that you guys just be cordial and just be friends you know if you know things like your child's birthday and things like that if you lot can do it all together and just you know play nice do that do that for your child do that for your child if you're in a situation where your child's father wants to be involved let him be involved Stop letting your own bitterness and your own upset your because your relationship broke down prevent you from giving your child what your child needs because your child needs both his parents. Your child needs both his parents. No matter what, no matter your feelings, your child needs both his parents, okay? It's only in unfortunate circumstances like my own or like other people have where the, ch the child's father is not being adequate then it's, it's okay for you to do what I've been speaking about and just let it play out but if you have a man who wants to be in the child's life and you are using your own upset that your relationship broke down as a weapon um, um, not as a weapon but as a, a crux to be unreasonable stop doing that think of your child think of your child you're hurting your child by doing that you're hurting your child by doing that in the long run okay because you're gonna keep doing that and eight times out of ten these men get fed up of keep trying and trying and trying and trying and you're doing this and blocking everything and they're gonna give up and they're gonna go off and make another family and 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 your child gonna get basically abandoned because of you because of you don't do that don't do that it's unnecessary is wrong put your children first put your children first there's no point it doesn't make sense for you to 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 mess up your own work because that's what you're doing you're messing up your own work you're there being the single mom you're doing all the grinding you're raising this child on its own on your own sorry to just sabotage it by just being bit off just you're just being bitter let it go let it go you know inhale exhale breathe and proceed carry on not all relationships work out not all relationships work out it might be you didn't want it to break up and it did it's unfortunate but that's how it is it might be he cheated on you it's unfortunate but let it go him cheating does not impact his fa his fathering abilities okay that's between you and him don't let it spill out into your children don't let it spill out into your children 
don't do that is unnecessary it's not fair to your kids you, you know don't do that don't do that don't do that stop being bitter just be happy move on move on okay just move on let it let it be let it be okay let it be move on with your life be happy grow grow flourish heal be a kick-ass mom to your child and just let it play out okay so i'm gonna stop my video here i hope that's been insightful for, for somebody you know i just really wanted to talk about that because it's something i hear so often and i think because people see me as a single mom they think that yeah she's going to join our bashing club i'm not about that life i'm really not you know my son's dad knows what i think of him and that's it <laughs> i don't need to just be angry all the time <laughs> you know it's okay it's okay you know hope like i said hopefully things get better if they don't they don't it's okay i'm not bitter about it i'm not upset about it i'm i'm i'm, I'm looking good you know i'm raising my boy my boy is if you've seen him on instagram you know how handsome and how he's my little twin you know i'm proud of my work i'm proud of everything i've done on my own and i don't care about anything else i don't care about anything else and i'm not giving anybody any power to come and break what i have with my son by coming to say stupidness no i'll let it play out it will play out it will to be how it is you know god's will is written and you know that's that so anyway thank you for watching guys like share comment subscribe follow me on instagram i'll see you in my next video ciao